All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, Yoroi now supports Ergo Tokens. So now not only are you able to hold your Cardano ADA, but now Yoroi is actually a multi-asset wallet. So if you hold Ergo Tokens, now you'll be able to hold your tokens using the Yoroi wallet. Also, as we head towards Gogan, taking a look at Marlowe. So this is an industry scale financial smart contract language built for blockchain. This is a domain specific language built for writing financial smart contracts on Cardano. So we're taking a look at an article here from Professor Simon Thompson. Also, we're going to be taking a look at the overall market. We can see Bitcoin breaking out above 11K. So very interesting to see that. We're going to be looking at some charts for Cardano ADA. And lastly, if you all stay till the very end, a big thank you to all of our subscribers. Recently, Kaizen Crypto has just passed over 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I wanted to go ahead and say a big thank you and show my support and appreciation by doing a giveaway. So if you all are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. So to get things started, Ergo is now integrated into the Euroi wallet. This is really incredible to see. Back in June of this year, Ergo and Emergo has actually announced a partnership. So it's really incredible to see the progress that they're making here. With this integration, Euroi is essentially taking the first steps to become a multi-asset wallet. Now that we are going to see things such as dApps, we're gonna see native assets, we're gonna see a whole bunch of different tokens being built on Cardano. So now Euroi is definitely going to be paving the way to lead that initiative to support multiple assets. Um, so now as far as Ergo, so it's a blockchain that is going to enable smart contracts and is doing things a little bit differently being that it's enabled an extended UTXO model. So they are making tremendous progress. I know that uh, Robert Kornacki is one of the research fellows who's been working tremendously on this project as well as many other developers and he actually talked more about this and, um, you know, Ergo is definitely something, it's proof of work, but Ergo is actually a really interesting smart contract blockchain. So now ultimately with this integration, Euroi will allow anyone to access a broad suite of DeFi services with a minimum of technical expertise. So they've made things extremely simple as far as the layout. So if you're familiar with Euroi, the user interface is going to be pretty similar if you're going to use Ergo. So now if we take a look, if we go to the Euroi wallet, it's very straightforward to be able to create a new wallet to support your Ergo tokens. What you would do is just click on create wallet. And then from here, you can just click on Ergo. So we can see all the assets that are integrated and are supported by Euroi. Let's go ahead and click on Ergo. And from here, we'll go through the process of creating a wallet. So very straightforward. I'm not going to do that in this video for the sake of time. But if you do want to hold your Ergo tokens on your Roy, now you'll be able to do so. So really incredible to see that. Next up, taking a look at Marlowe. So we are gearing up full steam ahead for Gogan. Marlowe is going to be an industry scale financial smart contract language for building financial contracts on blockchain. So now this is a domain specific language. Essentially, it's built using examples from the Actus system. So the algorithmic contract types unified standards. So really going to be incredible to see what the developers that are building financial contracts are going to do with Marlowe. They've actually got something called the Marlowe Playground, which is almost like a simulator. So if you did want to play around with the code, if you wanted to figure out what your contract is going to look like, you can actually play around with different pieces. They've actually got a really cool graphical user interface called Blockly. So Blockly allows you to almost like a puzzle, kind of fit pieces of the smart contract into the pieces of the puzzle, depending on what you'd like to have happen. Now, who can use Marlowe? So Marlowe is a platform for decentralized finance that supports direct peer-to-peer -peer lending, contracts for difference, and other similar instruments. So what they're intending on doing is making this programming language available to financial experts and those who are working for larger scale institutions. Not necessarily your typical developer, the programming language they're bringing out for developers to write these smart contracts and these decentralized applications is going to be Plutus. Now with Marlowe, this is intended to be for financial contracts. So this is something that's going to be based in Haskell, but the intent and purpose of the programming language is totally different. 
So now as part of the Gogan rollout, we will be completing the implementation of Marlowe on Cardano, giving users and organizations the opportunity to execute DeFi contracts they've written themselves or downloaded from a contract repository. So now with Marlowe, it's intended to be written and used on Cardano, but that doesn't mean that it's blockchain specific. So it's not necessarily tied to Cardano and it can definitely run on other blockchains in the future. So smart contracts running on Cardano will be able to access external data values, such as the exchange rate between ADA and Bitcoin through oracles. In some ways, an oracle is just like a participant that makes a choice, and we plan to support oracle values as part of the implementation. So now this is incredible because if you think about what an oracle is, it's essentially a price data feed that brings in information to a blockchain from the real world. So an example that was written in this article is like, let's say if you have a ticker for a stock that's traded on the New York Stock Exchange, what an oracle would do is essentially allow you to have that price data input integrated into a blockchain so that it can execute being used in a smart contract. So now an Oracle, if we are able to build an Oracle that's native to the Cardano blockchain, when we do actually see Gogan, I think that is gonna be a huge play. Uh, just to give you an example, if you think about Chainlink and what it's done so far with Ethereum, I mean, Chainlink is really just crushing it as far as partners. I think that's probably the, one of the biggest names as it comes to Oracles. But that's one thing that's really going to become something to talk about, especially as we're mentioning all these things like the ERC20 token converter, being able to port Ethereum tokens over to Cardano, like will we actually do that with something like Chainlink or is Cardano gonna have its own native Oracle solution? So really cool. I mean, you guys see where I'm going with this. It's almost like there's the sky's the limit. The possibilities are almost endless. Um, but getting back to Marlowe. So some of the next steps for Marlowe as a financial contracts programming language is that currently Marlowe contracts can be written in Haskell or JavaScript or directly in Marlowe and visually using the Marlowe playground using the uh, Blockly interface. Now over the next few months, IOG is going to continue revising and improving the user experience provided by the playground and continue implementing examples from the Actus project. At the same time, they will finalize the implementation of Marlowe on Cardano so that Marlowe contracts will run on the blockchain itself. Now, as far as being able to incentivize developers, recently there was a partnership between IOG and the United Nations. So what they're trying to do is incentivize developers to find actual use and utility for writing these financial smart contracts. So there is a $10,000 cryptocurrency fund set up to help to incentivize these goals. There's also a $5,000 Actus prize happening at the Wyoming Hackathon. So developers are definitely going to be incentivized as it comes to writing these financial smart contracts and blockchain applications for Cardano. I wanted to go ahead and just briefly take a look at the Marlowe Playground. So this is actually a simulator where you can actually see what the code is gonna look like before it's actually implemented on the blockchain. If you're interested in checking this out, I will be sure to provide a link for you all down in the description below. Also checking out Blockly. So this is a really cool graphical user interface. You can actually fit these pieces of the puzzles together depending on what you need from the financial contract. And if you're interested in learning more about Marlowe, maybe if you don't necessarily have a programming background like myself, where I would recommend that you begin is from Simon Thompson's YouTube channel. So he's got a lot of free information available here. This is actually a series that he's put together talking specifically about Marlowe and writing financial contracts on the blockchain. So I would definitely recommend that you check out his channel if you're interested in learning more about Marlowe. So taking a look at the overall markets, we can see that the price of Bitcoin just now breaking out above 11,000. So really incredible to see this. I know we've had quite a bit of resistance at this key psychological level. It looks like many of these other cryptocurrencies are also looking like they wanna follow Bitcoin's direction. Now, as far as Cardano, we're taking a look at ADA. So we are here at that 10 cent level, big psychological level there. 10 cents is definitely gonna be one of those levels that we wanna test back as support if we are able to make a break above it. Taking a look at the price chart for ADA USD, we can see here that we're just at that level here. If we can get a solid close above that 10 cent level, I would think that this could potentially be confirmed as an inverse head and shoulders pattern, which is a bullish reversal pattern after this long period of consolidation. 
So interesting to see what will happen with the price. Of course, Bitcoin is definitely going to lead the charge there, but it will be nice to see some of these altcoins picking up momentum if we can get a bullish move. And last up, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support. I wanted to go ahead and say a big thank you to all of our subscribers. Our YouTube channel has just crossed over 10,000 subscribers, and I'm incredibly excited to share this with you all. So big thank you again. In order to show my support and appreciation for all the love that we've been receiving through our stake pool, you know, all of our delegators delegating to Kaizen Stake Pool, all the comments, all the likes. It's just really incredible. I wanted to go ahead and do a giveaway to show my support for the Cardano community. As far as doing a giveaway, all you have to do to enter to win is be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying that you have subscribed. If you are an existing subscriber, just go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know that you enjoyed this video and what excites you most about Cardano. I'll be choosing a winner from the comment section of this video on October 13th. As far as some of the cool things that you could potentially win, I'm gonna be giving away some merchandise. So this is brought to us by the Ink Whale. I really love the products brought by the Ink Whale. They've got a lot of cool things for Cardano fans. So we're gonna be giving away some free merchandise, also a Ledger hardware wallet. So if you want to keep your cryptocurrency secure, giving away a free Ledger Nano S. And we're also gonna be doing something with Tangem cards. So this is gonna be a massive giveaway. You guys wanna make sure that you enter for a chance to win. So we're giving away a Tangem card. And if you are overseas and if you are not able to receive any of these items, we will be helping to support you by giving away some ADA. So guys, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you all enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a comment if you're interested in participating in our giveaway. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here today. Thank you all so much again, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.